Hello. In this video, we will introduce the Euclid 6.3 web user interface, including the dashboard and some other key concepts for its use. This is the dashboard, the main page of Euclid. The first thing worth noticing is the simplicity and few elements that are displayed. At the top bar, you will find the help menu that gives you access to the Euclid Q&As, where you can find uh, the most common questions about the tool cover in detail, the Euclid website, which contains lots of Euclid resources, a link to our uh, Euclid YouTube channel, where we upload multiple video tutorials explaining how different features of the tool work. And here you can also send a support request to the help desk in case you need uh, help with the tool. Below, you can find the search functionality, which is used to retrieve a dossier using its UUID. This is the most recommended way for search for dossiers in Euclid. The question mark here on the right side of the screen is the Euclid help. You can download the Euclid functionality manual in any of the EU languages, although the one in English contains uh, the most updated information. The dashboard itself contains few boxes, the so-called widgets. Uh, here you can find the list of substances and dossiers that I will explain shortly uh, in a moment. And you also have direct access to mixtures and the guided dossier preparation tool. Through the dashboard, you can also import Euclid files by simply dropping them in this box or browsing in your computer uh, for the files. On the top left corner of the screen, you can find the main menu uh, of Euclid. In here, you can find a direct link to the Euclid functionalities. And if one functionality is not available yet, you will see it grayed out. And you can still access the traditional interface here and launch it. Now let's look into the substance uh, list. In the Euclid web interface, substances and dossier have been combined into a single list, allowing you to navigate between the substance and its associated dossiers via a, sing a single entry in the list. This helps to easily navigate uh, and differentiate from the data sets in the list. So the document display in the list corresponds to the latest document that has been modified. And this approach also applies to the mixtures list. Uh, we differentiate the dossiers from the substances with this uh, image of a lock. Here, you can create a, a new substance, uh, give it a name and start working on it. Uh, you can also sort uh, the list of the, in different ways. Uh, by default, the list is sorted by the last modified date, but you can also sort it by name. Substance or dossiers in the list contain a summary of relevant information, such as the substance name, the EC number, uh, the CAS number, the UPAC name, and the submission type. In case you have many substances, the search functionality here can be of great help. Type some characters and press Enter and click on the magnifier button to display the results of the search. If we delete, we leave it, we go back to the substance list. Dossiers are differentiated from data sets in the list by an image of a lock, while substances do not have any mark. For instance, this entry gives you access to the substance data set, while this, this one gives you access to the latest dossier created or modified in this uh, testing substance. This means that you will access the latest dossier made by the user on this substance, and consequently, the user can access the dossier directly from the list. If the latest activity was to modify the data set itself, like here, uh, the data set is the current access directly, is the current document that is accessed directly. Each substance or dossier in the list has a menu where users can, with the appropriate access rights, delete the document, or if you're using the distributed version, set up the document if, if it's shared or change the ownership. Another feature of the web UI is the breadcrumb to on top here. Uh, the breadcrumb is always visible and helps you to easily navigate through the substances in the dossier. And it recognizes where you are in the application as well, so you can identify easily where you are. Um, now let's uh, open this, this substance, for example, to see how the breadcrumb is filled in. This is the substance view. 
As you can see, this is now indicated in the breadcrumb. Uh, the first thing to note here is the submission type field here that you can select one of more submission types. In case the submission type selected is, uh, for example, this one, the reach the registration one to 10 tones, we will see that the table of contents change dynamically to match the submission type selected. The table of content help us to easily navigate through the different sections of the substance, which are organized in a familiar way for Euclid users. The circle with the, with the number indicates the number of records that exist in section, so users can easily see how many records are available and, and go straight to the data. All the information is displayed in the substance page by clicking on the table of contents. That takes you directly to the particular section. Note that the records are created by clicking on the new button here and adding a copy as well. You can new, create a new document or copy from an existing. To go back to the top of the of the substance dataset view, we can click on the on this button top. All sections appearing in the table of contents are displayed as one web page. Here is where the benefits from using the web technology arise. A simple Control F from the navigator will help us to find uh, the any keyword that we are looking for. So if I write consumer. The browser will take me directly to the section that is on consumer uses. And since we are surfing a web page, we can select and copy any text that we see in the screen, which is quite handy. The web interface also allows users to zoom in and out as required. And if you're using a touch screen, this interface helps you navigate a to have a better user experience with Euclid. With the appropriate access rights, you can access a special series of functionalities that are available on the top bar. Here you have the, the possibility to generate the chemical safety report with one click, uh, to export the dossier, or to, to create a PDF out of, out of it. Other buttons available here as this one help you to validate the substance data set against a set of rules, and this one allows you to create a dossier. Let me go back top. In substance datasets, the substance information here on the top contains some important information about the substance and also a link to view the related dossiers. Simply clicking here shows you all the dossiers available for this substance. By default, the first dossier displayed is the latest created. Let's see one of the dossiers here. This is the dossier view. We can tell that because we can see the image of a lock here on the top. As you can see, we are in the solvent substance document, which is associated to the unique substance from the combined list, as is now indicated in the breadcrumb. And this is the name of this dossier. Here, you can run the dissemination preview to see the public and non-public information of your dossier. You can generate the chemical safety report with one click, export the dossier or create a PDF. The comparison tool allows you to compare two dossiers and see the results in a clear HTML report. So, and here you can also validate the dossier against a series of technical completeness rules. Here is the dossier information, which contains a summary of the dossier header information. And to see the complete data, you need to click on this link and you will have access to the full dossier information. Note that you here you can also see at once all the annotations available for the dossier. Now I go back to the dossier view and we talk about the next uh, section. The next section is the substance information section. Here you can have the basic details about the substance. From here you can either access the substance data set via this uh, link, go to source, or you can see other dossiers uh, available for the same substance. Information is displayed following the table of content associated to the submission type that was selected when editing the original substance. Another advantage of using the web interface lays on the possibility to use several windows or tabs simultaneously in your browser. So if I go back to the consumer case, I can right click and open in a new tab. As you can see, everything you see in the screen has a URL associated. 
This means that you can at any point in time bookmark page, manage as your favorites in your preferred internet browser, and continue working in a particular section later on. Uh, you can also copy the URL and uh, share it with your colleagues so they can also work on the substance if they have the appropriate access rights. Let's take a look at the record that I just opened. Records are displayed in one web page and users can quickly access their different parts by clicking the section name directly on the left menu. The hide empty fields functionality can help you to focus reading the information that has been entered and minimize the need to scroll up and down looking for information. This paper clip here is uh, used to store attachments and with the appropriate access you can you can add more. And the annotations are next to the attachments and those with an image of a lock means that they were created in, uh, in the data set originally. So they cannot be edited or deleted now because we are in the dossier view. But you can always add new dossier annotations here. With this, we finish the video. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.